Okay, so here we have um, an indefinite integral. Let's make a note of that. Sorry if you hear my cat. <laughs> I can't get her to stop talking. Okay, but it's indefinite because we don't have an A or a B. Okay, and what that really means for us is when we're, we're going to have a function when we're done, and we're going to put a plus C to, we don't want to forget the constant. Now, I would split this up because for me it would be easier. You've got two different things going on here. This is not polynomial, so I'm going to have to deal with that as an E to the X function. But fortunately, um, that one's not too bad to deal with. Now, what am I going to do with this mess? I wouldn't write it that way. I would write it as 5, and think of that as x to the negative 2 thirds. If you'll write it that way, make it look like a, a power function, x to some power, it's going to be a lot easier to integrate it. Okay? It's negative because that um, x is in the denominator, and then you've got the index is 3, and the exponent is 2, so that makes it when you write it in exponential notation, x to the negative 2 thirds. Okay, so what now we want to integrate. Okay, so what is the antiderivative of e to the x? It's e to the x. So that part's not too bad. This part we're going to treat like we did before. We're going to keep the, oh, let, me, let me change that a little bit. We keep the 5x to the negative 2 thirds. But then we're going to add 1 to the exponent, and then you're going to divide by whatever that total is. Now, negative 2 thirds plus 1 is 1 third. And then I don't want to forget the C, so I'm going to put it in right now. All right, so now we just have to clean this up a little bit. It's going to be e to the x plus, so invert and multiply, that's going to give you 15 there, x to the 1 third plus c. Now you could leave it that way. I probably would write it as e to the x plus 15 and make that in the radical notation. But to be really honest, it's that doesn't matter. It almost looks neater the other way, huh? So either one of these answers would be fine. You don't have to put both, but one of them. Okay? So that's how we're evaluating that integral. We don't get a value. We get a function. Um, and remember that c stands for some constant that we don't know.